morning, good morning. I'm back again. Share with you guys how I cooked the uh, Zha Jia Mian, a uh, dried noodle. So I boil the water first. Then I'm gonna put in some uh, scallop, dried scallop. So the dried scallop is basically uh, seafood. So I buy a bag, it's about, I don't know, maybe $50 or $100 but it can last for a long time. So I have the boiled water, then I put the dry scallop into the boiled water. Also, I put in some uh, shrimp. This is the shrimp I got from uh, Costco. So I have the water boiled first. Uh, I'm not a real cook, okay? I'm just uh, creating my own recipe, you know, that I think is uh, healthy to eat. So I put in some shrimp, I put in some uh, dry, uh, dry scallop. Uh, it uh, makes the, it, the food tasty because it has seafood inside, right? So I'm gonna, let me put the shrimp back into the refrigerator. Then I'm gonna, I prepare some uh, cabbage. So now I'm gonna put the packed cabbage. So I, I kind of just tear it up and uh, wash it. And then I put it into the, the, the hot water. I'm not gonna cook the cabbage. I'm just gonna uh, let it stay in the hot water for, I don't know, a couple minutes. Just to, you know, uh, to kill off some of the whatever harmful toxin. Uh, I'm gonna cover the lid. Just let the cabbage, you know, clean up a little bit in the boiled water. Hello, Janice, long time no see. My TikTok was blocked <laughs> for seven days. <laughs> so I couldn't, couldn't upload any videos. Um, so today's focus is, uh, we talk about uh, uh, focus. Focus is very important because a lot of people have this, uh, you know, shining object syndrome. So right now I'm just cooking. Uh, today I'm gonna cook something different, a little bit different, because some some of the videos I post is kind of controversial. So <laughs> they they ban some of my videos. I haven't had breakfast yet, so this is gonna be my breakfast. So okay, now I'm gonna. Take out the cabbage. I'm not really cooking the cabbage. I'm just uh, putting the hot water to to get rid of some of the toxins. So I I take out the cabbage. So once I take out the cabbage, I'm gonna put in some uh, ingredients, uh, some uh, seasoning for the cabbage. This is actually pretty healthy. So now I have all the cabbage in the bowl, I'm gonna put in some seasoning. But before I do that, let me put in the, the noodles first. Today I'm gonna cook the dry noodles. Ni hao. So for the guys that for the guys that came in late, I, I boiled hot water first, then I put the shrimp and the dry scallop into the water. So this is all I'm gonna cook. This is all I need for the noodles. It looks it doesn't look a lot, but uh, that's enough. Thank you, thank you. I love your videos, thank you. How have you been? How's everybody? So I haven't eaten the breakfast, so I'm getting a little bit hungry. Let me eat some uh, blue, uh, what, what, what do you call this? This is not blueberry, this is a uh, blackberry. Usually I buy this from uh, Costco. One box is about, I think three, three ninety nine. So this is one box. So I'm gonna cover the lid, just let, let the noodles cook. Then now I'm gonna put the seasoning into the cabbage. 
Let me let me put away the noodles. So the seasoning for the cabbage, I use a. So I got this from Costco too. This is a garlic salt. I'm not gonna put too much of it because you know, I I want to try to. I want to try to not eat too much salt. You know what I mean? So maybe just a little bit to get the seasoning. I put that on the cabbage. Cabbage is very healthy, by the way. A couple months ago, I couldn't raise my shoulder. I couldn't raise my right shoulder. I went to all different kind of doctors. Nobody can cure my problem. Guess what? Cabbage cured my problem. All I do is take the cabbage leaf, put on my shoulder. I, did, I put on my shoulder for a couple weeks and then it's cured. Before I couldn't even raise my shoulder. So this is another seasoning I put on cabbage. It's an organic, non, no, no salt seasoning. From, uh, also from Costco. So I'm gonna put some, to make the, you know, to make the cabbage taste better. I try not to cook the cabbage too long. I didn't cook it, I just uh, put it in the boiled water and just take it out after a couple minutes. So it's gonna be more healthy. Yeah, minced pork, yeah. But I'm not, like I said, I'm not a cook. I'm not a real cook. So anything that's complicated, I'm not gonna do it. I'm kinda lazy. So this seasoning is easy, you know what I mean? Then I put some, uh, then I put some sesame oil onto the cabbage too. That's it. So now the cabbage is ready to eat. This is this way is very healthy and also it's a, uh, it taste is okay. I mean, it's not you know great, but uh, it's a uh, tolerable. But it's very healthy though. There's no meat. There's not much salt. There's not much, uh, you know, oil, not much grease. It's all cabbage. Cabbage uh, is, is a really good vegetable. It has a lot of uh, anti-inflammatory uh, substance. Uh, it, it, uh, it's anti-inflammatory. So it's really good for your body. Didn't know that iPhone de device smart enough to detect high hacking. Who hacked you? Can you show it? Yeah. So basically, I just uh, pour into small pieces the cabbage. Then I let it set in the hot water for a couple of minutes. Then I take it out, and then I put some seasoning. This is the this is a no salt no salt seasoning from from Costco. I try to not eat too much salt. So this is a garlic salt. So I just put a little bit, just to make it taste better. Then I put some uh, sesame oil, and then I, then I just uh, you know blend it. So that it gives a uh, some. It tastes okay. I'm not a real cook, like I said. Uh, my primary function uh, purpose is to make it healthy, but at the same time, it tastes okay. Raspberry. Is that Waxbury? So I get this from Costco too. Usually I buy like a five or six boxes. So one box fill up a bowl. This is a blackberry. It's very important to eat healthy. Because when you eat healthy, it gives you a clear mind. It gives you a focus. Gives you energy. Okay. Now let me take like the noodles. Uh, I think you still need to cook a little bit. So in the noodles, I put in, uh, I boil the water first, then I put in the dry scallop, I put in the shrimp, um, then I just put the noodles inside of hot water, just let it boil. How do you keep the berries from going bad? Just put it in the refrigerator. Usually I just buy uh, five or six. So I buy, this time I bought, I think I bought five or six box of a blackberry and a five or six box of, of a blueberry. So I just put it in the refrigerator. Let me try to do this, see if it's ready or not. Not yet. 
Follow my TikTok. Give me some likes. Whatever question you have, let me talk about. Let's talk about it. Let me know where you're from. I'm from Los Angeles, California. See more Easter. Thank you for fo following. Nice to see you back again. Yes, nice to see you, Stanley. Welcome. I'm kind of hungry, so I'm cooking right now. So this is the cabbage I made. It's very easy to make. And it's very healthy. Cabbage is really good for your body. In order for you to be, be able to focus, you have to take, your, take care of your body first. Take care of your body. Take care of your mind. Watch what you eat. So I usually try to eat healthy. You know, stay away from too much meat. I eat meat as well. But usually I try to eat more vegetables, more fruits. Um, I use carbohydrate too, but just not that much carbohydrate. I try to eat more vegetables like this and more fruits. And also, when you eat at home, it's much cheaper. Usually I eat breakfast at home. Lunch, usually I only eat one, one more like a one more meal, combine lunch and dinner together. So then I would eat outside. How's everybody doing? Long time no see. Any bought anybody anyone bought any properties yet? So I'm looking at a couple of mobile home parks now. So I'm gonna go take a look. Most likely, most, most likely gonna buy a uh, one more, two more, one or two more mobile home parks. So right now, my passive income is about ten thousand. So my short term goal is to increase my passive income to three thousand, uh, thirty thousand. So that's gonna be my short term goal. Increase my passive income, monthly, monthly passive income to thirty thousand. So right now I have about ten thousand. So I have the twenty more thousand to go. So once I buy a two, two more, two or three more mobile home parks, my monthly passive income gonna be able to increase to uh, thirty thousand. Maybe more, because I need to pay off the mortgage too. Raw silver, thank you for the roses. How much they are? How much is what? I have equity on my home and I need business loan, but back credit. Why do you need business loan? What are you trying to do with the loan? What are you trying to buy? Yeah, in California, I'm not, I have a house in California, but I'm not gonna buy investment in California. It returns very low. Okay, let me try the noodles to see if you're ready. So I'm making a different kind of noodle, noodles today. You'll see, okay? Okay, I think the noodles ready. So I'm gonna keep the soup inside the pot. I'm only gonna take out the noodles, okay? Today I'm gonna cook a dry noodle. So I'm only gonna take out the noodles, keep the soup inside the pot. I'm uh, taking out the noodles and uh, the seafood. I put in the, the you know. Okay. Let me change to a different stand so you can see what I'm doing, okay. Yeah, you're not gonna get any good return in California. Make Airbnb better. Mobile home. Can you teach me how to make money, my monthly income to 30K? 
Man, must be nice. Okay, let's, let me go through the questions one by one. Should we start with mobile home parks? I mean, you could start with anything. Mobile home parks. Uh, it could be, uh, you know, Airbnb. Just pick whatever you want. Uh, just come up with a down payment, purchase property, and start collecting rent. I'm talking about mobile home park, not mobile homes, okay? Make your Airbnb better. Oh, you mean to, uh, to so okay. If you're gonna make your Airbnb better, uh, you could either get a business loan or you could get an equity loan from your property or you could get a, um, a equity line of credit. And I think there is a, there is a loan for, 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 for remodeling too. You can, you can talk to lenders to see if they can give you a loan for remodeling. Okay, now let me show you the how how I'm. Uh, uh, okay, let me put the sesame oil here. Let me wash my chopstick first. Okay. So I'm gonna. This is sesame oil. Sesame oil. I'm gonna put the sesame oil. I'm gonna. Stir it first. The sesame oil is tastes really good in the in the noodle. So I'm gonna take it out. I finished this too quickly. I just bought this uh, sesame oil like a, a month ago. I almost finished it. Uh, it's not enough yet. I gotta put more. Uh, maybe one more scoop. Then it's gonna be enough. Okay, I think that should do. Then I'm gonna just uh, blend it. Blend the sesame oil. And I'm gonna also put in some uh, seafood sauce. Don't have to put a lot, just a little bit. Just make the make it taste better. Uh, it's gotta have some 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 uh, some uh, liquid. If it's too dry, it's gonna be hard to blend. So you gotta have uh, enough liquid. If it doesn't have enough liquid, you need to add more. As you can see, I have a uh, shrimp, I have dry scallop, then I have noodle, I have the the sashimi, sashimi. Uh, then I have uh, the seafood sauce. So as you can see, now it looks kind of dry. So uh, maybe I need to put in some more. Let um, me put in some more. The, the proportion just gotta be right. If it's too dry, then it's gonna be hard for you to mix. If it's too much soup, then it's gonna be, it's not gonna taste good. So you just gotta have the right proportion. It's almost ready. Wow, it's it looks so yummy. As you can see, I didn't, when I first cooked it, I didn't put in too much noodles. But now, you know, after cooking, the noodle looks, looks like there's, there's a lot. Uh, it could be any kind of noodle. It doesn't have to be any specific type of noodle. As long as, uh, you know, uh, most noodles will work. Most noodles, noodles you can get from the Asian market. Almost ready. Okay, ready to eat. Ready to eat. Let me go through some questions that I'm gonna enjoy my noodle.
you ever invest in Indiana? Indiana is good. I'm actually looking at some properties in Indiana. The price is pretty good. Uh, there are some banks. Uh, there are some uh, non-recourse bank. They they can lend to uh, um, uh, bankruptcy people uh, borrowers. Uh, send me a message. Uh, I had one before. I I remember, but I don't remember the names now. But I can look it up for you. Thanks for the roses. You really like that? Like what? Okay, let me eat the noodles first. Okay. Wow, it looks good. Wow, it's really good. I love it. Tennessee is good too. The return there is much higher. You just want to avoid the the state that are landlord that are not landlord friendly, like New Jersey, New York, California, Washington. Those states are bad for the landlords. You can try to buy a multi-family because the most retail buyer, they're looking for a single family. Try to buy a multi-family. Sorry, I haven't had breakfast yet. So I'm going to talk with you guys and eat at the same time. Okay. I can save some time too because I just cooked it. I just finished cooking it. It's, it's still warm. So it tastes better. It's not really pasta. It's a, it's a Chinese noodle. Invest in Airbnb in uh, Panama City Beach and the Destin, 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 Florida. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I have my mobile home park is nearby Panama City. Panama, the Panhandle, Florida is still a area with, with good deals. It's not like Miami or Orlando, where it's already overpriced, but there's still a lot of prices in in Panhandle, Florida. The price is good. Wow, the noodles really good. Well, I cannot believe how good it is. For example, Pensacola, Panama City, Tallahassee, Jacksonville, those areas, the real estate is still cheap. And they're nice areas too. There's a lot of employers. The economy is good too. What's up, infantry? How are you doing? Hey, winner for hour. Doing good. How about you? How, how about you, brother? Did you say something you were in the military too, right? <clears throat> Sorry, man, I didn't eat breakfast, so I'm eating at the same time. For you guys that came in late, this is a cabbage. I just put in the boiled water for a couple minutes, take it out, put in some seasoning. It's very healthy because the cabbage has a lot of anti-inflammatory substance in it. Right on, right on. I'm good, brother. Yes, sir. How do you find other state lenders? There is a, okay. There are different type of lenders, right? You have the, the big retail lenders from the bank. Then you have the hard money lender and you have the private lender. It's very hard to, to get the money from the, the retail bank. They're very strict. And most of them only lend on single family homes or multi-units. The easy way to get a mortgage you can talk to those private lenders. So this couple of days, I talked to like a four or five lenders, private lenders. One is a Lima one, another one is a Vizio, VCO. This morning I talked to another bank, I forgot the name. So when you talk to a private lender, it's gonna be much easier to qualify. They don't even look at your income. They just look at your net worth and they look at the, the property's income. They quoted me like interest rate is not cheap, but uh, it's gonna be much easier to get a loan. Interest rate is like around 6%, but it's okay. 
Just get a property first. You can always refinance later on. Pro and cons of FHA and VA. Uh, I haven't used my VA loan yet, so I gotta use my VA loan. So I'm planning to. This is a BlackBerry. I may get uh, my uh, Nevada residency because I already have a home in Los Angeles, but I didn't use my VA loan. So I'm planning to get my Nevada residency and uh, buy a multi units, maybe four units or you know couple units, multi-units, with my VA loan in, Florida, in uh, Nevada. Um, obviously, VA loan is uh, zero down, right? And the interest rate is lower. Um, in the market a couple years ago, it's hard to buy property with VA loan because the market is so hard. You, you cannot compete with uh, people that are buying with a conventional mortgage. Now the market can change a little bit. So now... So now it's easier to to uh, <clears throat> to get a v to buy property with VA loan. I met this other guy. He told me that once you apply for the VA loan, let's say if you buy the property for five hundred k, and you sell the property, and you exchange to a bigger property, he said you don't have to apply for the VA loan again. He said you can just use the original VA loan. I don't know if that's true or not. But if that's true, then that's great. You don't have to go through, you know, the process to get another mortgage. FHA loan. FHA loan is uh, you need five uh, three to five percent down. FHA loan you definitely need a PMI. I'm not too sure for, about a VA loan. I haven't used a VA loan. Uh, disclaimer: I'm not a lender. Okay, I'm not trying to quote you any mortgage terms. I'm just sharing what I know. Yeah, I've been hearing about that, the mutual fund. People kept talking talking about the SP500. That may be a good idea too, just to you know diversify a little bit. I have a account with a Vanguard. Vanguard is pretty good. Fidelity is pretty good too, I think, because they have lower fees. Vanguard have a really low fees. So, if you want to buy a mutual fund, you go open an account with a Vanguard or Fidelity and buy a mutual fund, the SP500, whatever. This is not any financial advice, okay? I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just sh sharing, you know, just uh, sharing information. Wow, the noodle is really good. To buy a property in Vegas and use my VA loan. Same thing for uh, FHA. You gotta, you got, it's gotta be your primary residence. In the noodles, I cook the water. I put a shrimp inside. I put dry scallop inside, and then I put the noodle. I cook the noodle. Once the noodles cooked, then I mix it with a uh, sashimi and shrimp. I boil the water. Once I boil the water, then I put the noodles inside. I cook, cook the noodles. Once the noodles cooked, I take out the noodles and I put in the sesame sauce and I put in the seafood sauce. Then I mix it. Mongu kai pan. Yeah, cash flow. You gotta have cash flow. So the easiest way to calculate cash flow is very simple, okay? So let's say if you look at a property. Yeah, miso is pretty good too. If you look at a property and uh, if let's say if it's a million dollars, let's say if your monthly income is $10,000, that means your annual income is 120000 right? So that would be great. So that would be enough money to to cover all the mortgage expenses and also you still have something left over. Because for most multifamily property, the expense level is about 50% when you after you pay for all the expenses. Wow, it's getting warm.
If you want to make a lot of money, if you want to be successful, you got to take care of yourself. Take care of your body. Take care of your mind. Exercise. Eat well. Drink water. Sleep well. And meditate. I have ten thousand to invest. Ten thousand. Um. You could buy. A, I mean, there's a lot, of, a lot of options. You could buy cheap properties. Put ten thousand down. Buy a five fifty thousand dollar property. Maybe you can get a five hundred to a thousand rent monthly rent. And you gotta be able to pay for all the expenses, and still have something left over. Or you could put it in the SP five hundred. Or maybe you can put it in crypto, but crypto is kind of volatile. Kimchi fermented food, great. No, this is not kimchi. Esther, thank you. Follow my TikTok, give me some likes, whatever question you have, we can talk about it. Let me know where you're from. I'm from Los Angeles, California. You gotta have the right mindset. In order to have the right mindset, you gotta have the right body. If your body is not fit, you're not gonna be able to have the right mindset. It's like when Warren Buffett, when he's trying to hire people, he look at three qualities, right? He see if the person have good energy, energy, you know, energetic. Is the person honest? And the third thing is, is the person capable? Is the person have have the ability? Ability. If you have these these three qualities, you can do anything. You can achieve anything. Energy, honest, skills. If you have three these three qualities, you can achieve anything. Nothing is impossible. No, the bank don't own it. When you buy a property with the bank financing, you own the title of the property. The bank just have a lien on the property. The bank does not have a say on what you do with the property as long as you continue to pay the rent. I mean, pay for the mortgage, which the tenant is going to help you to pay for the mortgage. As long as you keep paying the mortgage, then you have 100% control of the property. I have $150,000 to invest. Uh, One hundred fifty thousand. Again, I'm not a advisor, financial advisor. Okay, if I were you, with one hundred fifty thousand, if I could find a really good property for maybe five hundred k, because that that's how much you can buy with five one hundred fifty thousand cash. You buy a maybe five hundred k property. You put one hundred fifty thousand down. You're gonna get a uh, maybe three hundred fifty finance. Maybe you're gonna pay uh I don't know fifteen hundred a month for mortgage. Let's say if your cap rate is ten percent, then maybe you're gonna get a uh, um five thousand a month. Five thousand a month. Sub subtract all the expensive expenses. Maybe you're gonna get two or three thousand dollars net income. What are you reading? Anything you need to recommend? Uh, usually, every day I walk, right? I walk 10,000 steps a day, 5,000 steps in the morning, 5,000 steps in the afternoon. So usually it takes me, you know, half an hour each walk. Usually I just listen to audiobook. So I listen to um, mostly um, philosophy book, finance book, investment book, Mostly this type of books. So for the philosophy, uh, li recently I'm uh, listening to uh, I Ching, Tao Te Ching. That's a Chinese philosophy. For uh, for wealth uh, making, I I read the the Master Key System. That's a pretty good book, and also the Science of Getting Rich. That's a pretty good book. The Science of Getting Rich, and also uh, Master Key System. Those are pretty good with a uh, uh, mind control and uh, making money. And also, I've been studying a lot of uh, crypto. 
there's one channel called uh, Whiteboard Crypto, and also Coin Bureau on Facebook. I mean, not Facebook, YouTube. They're pretty good. Um, you know, I'm learning a lot about crypto too. So for real estate, there's some good channel. Uh, the Bigger Pocket channel, that's a pretty good channel for real estate. Uh, also, maybe Robert Kiyosaki, that's pretty good too. Fit mind, fit body, and good real relationship with God. You cannot lose. I want cooked noodles now. I didn't cook this kind of noodle, noodle until recently. It's really good. It's very simple to make. Just get the noodles from the supermarket. Get the sashimi sauce. Maybe get some seafood sauce. Cook the water. If you want to make it tasty, put in some uh, dry scallop or dry shrimp. And put the noodles inside, let it cook. Once it cook, cooked well, take out the noodle, noodle, leave the soup inside the pot. Take out the noodle only. And then you mix it with... Uh... Okay, uh, somebody tried to call me, so I'm gonna say it again. Cook the, wa cook, cook the water, uh, put in some dry scallop or dry shrimp. Cook the noodles, put the noodle inside. Once the noodles cook, take it out. Take it out and then put it in a bowl. And then mix it with the sashimi sauce and the seafood sauce. And if it's too dry, put in some more water and then mix it, it tastes really good. What do you think is the quickest way to boost up credit? Thank you from Glendale. The quickest way to, to boost up credit... I used, there's one time I used to owe $120,000 in credit card. Credit card debt. $120,000. That's how much I used to owe. First, what you have to do is pay it off. Because if you don't pay it off, or either pay it off or pay as much as you can. Try to negotiate with the creditor. See if you can reduce some amount. Because if you don't pay it off, the credit card interest is too high. It's gonna keep you in the hole. Pay it off or pay as much as you can. No matter what you do, keep your balance below 50%. For example, let's say if you're if your limit is uh, 10,000, you don't want to owe more than 5,000. Uh, Either you can pay it off or you can call them to increase the limit. For example, let's say if your limit is 10,000, if you owe 10,000, call them, see if they can raise your limit to 15,000 or 20,000. Take an inventory of all your expenses, sub subscriptions, See what you can reduce. Eliminate. I'm doing that right now. I just I just remove like uh, five expenses. Those add up to twelve thousand dollars a year. Can you imagine? So discontinue the subscription. Pay off some credit card debt. You can contact a legal zoom. Not legal zoom. Uh, uh, what's the name? Uh, Lexington Law. Lexington Law. I'm not endorse, I'm not endorsing them. I used them before. Contact Lexington Law. They're a credit re repairing agency. Uh, that's uh, operated by attorneys. It's not it's not expensive. It's like you can pay them like uh, thirty dollars, fifty dollars a month. So they're gonna send the challenge letters to the different credit bureaus to remove your bad credits. Eighteen miles a day, and then um, sixty-seven. That's a lot, man. When I was in infantry, every day would run about ten k. I don't run anymore. I'm just uh, walking nowadays. Wow, resting heart forty-seven. Okay. How long did it take to get health wealthy? Okay. When I was in my 20s, early 20s, I, don't, I wouldn't say I'm wealthy, but I'm just uh, okay, I guess. When I was early my, in my early 20s, I didn't know what I was doing. So I tried many different jobs. Eventually, I started focusing on real estate sales. So about five to 10 years, I wasn't making much money because my skills not there yet. 
Here's the thing. The minute you're going to start making money, when your skill level is there, up there. If your skill level is not up there, you're not going to make money. The only way you're going to make money when your skill level is up there. Once you improve your skill level, then you're going to start making money. So once you start making money, then the key is, here, here's one saying, right? The poor spend, the middle class save, the rich invest. So if you're only going to save and not invest, you're not going to get rich. You're going to stay middle class. So the first investment I did is uh, I, I, I bought a flip. I bought it for 130,000, I sold it for like 250. So I made it like, a, I don't know, 12,000, 120,000. Then, then lately I started buying mobile, mobile home parks. So you have to do whatever you can to increase your income. Just like a subject of today, right? Focus. Because it doesn't matter what you start. It's gonna take some time before you can start making money. Because you need to stay in, in, in the on the track. You need to focus. It's like Harry is talking about, right? Harry is running 18 miles a day. How can you uh, uh, arrive at the destination if you stay on the track, right? If you, Let's say if you have two track, track A, track B. If you keep coming, jumping back and forth between track A and tra track B, you will never reach the destination because you kept changing to switch the track. So pick a track, focus on it, become good at it, increase your skill. Once your skill is good enough, then you're gonna start making money. But along the way, try to save as much as you can. Open a separate account. The minute you have enough, like three to 5% down payment, just buy a property. Even if it's an ugly house, even if it's a cheap little house, ghetto house, doesn't matter. Just buy it. Buy whatever you can as quickly as possible. Because once you buy it, you're going to be able to start accumulate equity. Because if you don't invest, you just kept working, you're not going to save anything. You're not going to become rich by saving. But as the minute you start to buying a property, then you're going to start to use the leverage. You're going to use the mortgage. You're going to leverage the mortgage. Right, and you're gonna leverage the, the rent, the tenant pay you to pay for the mortgage, right? You're leveraging a lot of stuff. That's how, that's why when you, you want to see property, then you can start getting rich because you're leveraging. But if you're working by yourself, you just exchange, exchanging time for money. You, you don't have, you're not leveraging anything. So you're not gonna get rich. Okay, I'm telling you. Medicine is bad. The U.S. medical system is so fucked up. It's all about how to fix people after they become fucked up. I see people taking a whole bunch of medicine. It's no good. The medicine is going to kill you, okay? The best thing, the best approach is just like Harry. Keep your body healthy. Work out every day. Eat healthy. Stay, from, stay away from disease. Stay from, away from medicines. All those medicines are toxic. There's a big difference between Western medicine and the, and the Eastern medicine. The Western medicine is focused, usually focused on correcting the symptom. They don't correct the cause. Let me repeat. The Western medicine is usually focused on correcting the symptom, not the cause. So when you take a Western medicine, it doesn't make you healthier. It just keep your symptoms down. Hello, Delara. What's your worst loss? Been how much? So one time I owe a uh, hundred twenty thousand dollars in credit card debt. Uh, for real estate, you're not gonna last too much. 
there's not much opportunity for you to lose money. That's what's great about real estate. So this one time I tried to buy a mobile home park. I was trying to get the environmental report and I couldn't cancel in time. So I didn't get my credit back and my uh, deposit back. It's about $10,000. Um, it's very hard to lose money in real estate. Um, there's one time I bought a home in Fontana, uh, but I sold it. I didn't lose any money. I just break even. Um, oh, I, I lost money in crypto, but I didn't really lose it because I didn't sell it. Uh, I think I put in 50000 At one time, it was worth uh, um, 70000 Now it's like worth nothing. Now it's like, so that's like $50,000 down for crypto, but I didn't take it out. So maybe you never know. One of those coins is going to go up to the sky, then I can give my money back. I'm artist, get up early, work work and run. Work hard, play hard, drop that, bam. Learn from your culture. You can you are correct. We do not have preventive medicine. It's evidence based treatment. Yeah, the, the US medical system is all fucked up. Once you get into that system, you, you there's nothing nothing gonna, nothing good gonna come out of it. Uh, I have VA. I go to the VA hospital, but I only go there to check my blood. I, I don't do anything else. I check my blood every year. I make sure I I'm healthy. You know, I make 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 sure all the numbers metrics is good on my blood. On my blood, you know, I don't take any medicine. Act advice on watches. Let me give you. Let me show you my watch. So this is the watch I have. You don't have to get this one. I mean, this one is the expensive one. This one is the Garmin. This one is, uh, I think regular price is like uh, $900, $1,000. I bought it on discount for like $600. But there's a cheaper version. I like this one is because uh, uh, it has a long battery life. This one with one charge, it can last me like a two to three weeks. About three weeks, one charge. I don't like, I have a, a Apple Watch too, but the problem with Apple Watch, you gotta charge it every day. That's what I don't like. Let me, let me move to another location. So the, char the, the, the watch you use, uh, it's, uh, it's better if you can last for a long time. That's the reason I like this watch. This is a Garmin. This is a Garmin, I think Garmin Phoenix or something, I forgot. So this one can last for two to three weeks with every charge. So there's another one, uh, I have a cheaper one for the Garmin. Uh, I forgot the name of that. That one is like two to three hundred dollars. So when you buy a watch to track your steps, make sure it can the 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 battery life lasts. So the, this is the one I found that have the longest battery life. That's why I bought this one. What's the best way to find contractors? The best way to find contractors uh, referral. It's hard to find a good contractor. And when you find a contractor, make sure he gets on, one, one, on the same page on what he's, he's uh, got, a, what project you want him to do and how much you want him to pay and write it down. And uh, in the beginning, do not give more than 20%. Give maybe 20% first. And then after that, then according to progress, after you finish the work, give the money. Finish work, give the money. If it doesn't finish, finish the work, do not give the money. Because, uh, yeah, it's not easy to find a good contractor. But if you have enough money, you can hire private doctors that practice to preventive medicine. You do not need a private doctor. You just gotta, you, you're responsible for your own health. You just need, need to live a healthy lifestyle. Eat well, sleep well, drink well. You know, um, you know, you just need to, you're responsible for yourself. Nobody else can be responsible for you. I have a vintage 14 gold watch from the 1950s. I have a Rolex, but I don't I don't use it because uh, I, I need to track my step every day. So that's why every day I watch, I use this watch. Uh, my Rolex is just sitting in my safe. I bought the cheapest low Rolex. I don't want to spend too much money on Rolex. <laughs> that's, that's true. I charge my Apple watch every day and it gets annoying. Exactly, yeah. So that's the reason I, I got this watch. This one, this is actually the best so far. Uh, it lasts me like 20 days with each charge. Because when you have a watch, you need to charge every day. Even if you go travel, you got to bring the charger, everything. It's like a, so much hassle. This one I charge once, I can use it for two to three weeks. Follow my TikTok, give me some likes, whatever question you have, we can talk about it, let me know where you're from. 
I'm from Los Angeles, California. I, I'm gonna stay for two more minutes, okay? Then I'm gonna take off. It's uh, 12 58 now, almost one o'clock. What do you think Bill Gates' real mission actually is? I don't know what's going on. I, I hear people like uh, dissing him. What's going on? What's going on with Bill Gates? Rolex, I have the cheapest. <laughs> I forgot the name. I have the cheapest Rolex. I paid it for only like six thousand dollars, seven thousand dollars. But I never, I never wear it because I need to track my step every day. So that's this is the watch I wear every day. Thank you, thank you for the question. I appreciate you. I love you. I have final advice. Another advice for you. If you want to be rich, love everybody. The problem with a lot of people is they have the me and you mentality. For example, let's say if I have a lot of money, if I want to give you business. And for example, let's say if you have prejudice against me, you say, oh, I don't like Asian people. Then you lost my business. Right? So you want to love everybody. Okay, love everyone. That's the easiest way to get rich. Thank you from California. Thank you, thank you. Thoughts on Pfizer adverse reactions being released? I don't know. I didn't keep up with that. I'm not sure. Okay, so we'll focus. It's 1 p.m. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for all the questions. Uh, keep healthy. Stay intentional. And I love every one of you. I love you. Make sure you figure out a way to love everyone. Once you love everyone, then you're gonna get rich, for sure. Trust me. If you can figure out how to love everyone, you will get rich. That's the shortest. Uh, that's that's the quickest shortcut. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>